Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Ndivuti and here is the latest episode of Skeleton in my Closet. My dad is gay and mom does not know it and I'm gay too. Hey Ndivuti, how are you? I'm a 20 year old guy and I'm doing my last year at varsity. I have two younger siblings and I come from a very born again Christian family. When I say very, I mean exactly that, very. We could just be chilling and my mom bust out into a song and the whole prayer session starts. Both my parents and grandparents do not believe in gayism or any same-sex relationships and they were clear about that from when I was young. I liked being around girls growing up and related to them more than I did boys. It was clear from everyone in our community and family that I was gay because I look and do things like your typical gays. But I had to change my ways because I was always fighting with my parents about being too touchy-feely, basically being too feminine. I think though they didn't want to admit to it, my parents saw from a young age that I was gay but chose to ignore it. Took me to church for the pastor to cast out the demons. We even moved to a different community because in grade 8, I was so close with a boy who was in grade 9 and was openly gay with the support of his family. They said he was a bad influence, demonic. Even so, one day without notice, my parents told me we were moving to a different suburb and they let me know it was because of me. So after that, I never allowed my friends to come home. I would be very gay at school and come back home and be the son that my parents birthed. I even had a pretend girlfriend in my matric year. Her family was just like mine. She was lesbian, but they wouldn't accept it. So we decided to pretend to date. According to them, we are still dating and they can't wait for us to get married. We were both waiting to finish school and start working before officially coming out again. But at this time, as painful as it will be, even if they disown us, we will be having our own loves. But Nibuti, things have changed drastically after finding out that our dads are actually gay. What? So, while in varsity, we both started seeing people, but we remained close. We are like sister and brother. You can never separate us. We even live together and our parents know and they don't mind it because we have different rooms. And though they are born again, they don't mind sex before marriage. So, the team, one night we went out as per usual with our friends in Jobek clubs. But we are from Pretoria, grew up there and are now in varsity day. But we had way too many drinks and one of our friends kept talking about how his older man was on his way to pick him up for some sexy time. The kind of friends I have are very explicit when they sleep or are dating anyone. They will share every little detail about that person, the kind of sex they have, the kind of ding ding he hears and how they do it. They will even demonstrate to give a clear picture of the whole thing. They leave nothing to the imagination. So... Our friend said that the guy was in a relationship with another guy, but had him as a side. He sponsors him with a ton of money and spoils him rotten. When they are together, and he didn't mind it because he was still too young for a serious relationship. So now he wanted to have a foursome with his partners, him and another boy. So he agreed and was coming to pick him up, though he was scared because the guy was big down there. He would do anything for him because he gets 20k allowance each month. And it's been like that for two years now. So the guy calls to say he's outside. My friend heads out and my lesbian friend follows him to see his daddy he's always been bragging about. My friend came back looking like she had seen a ghost and was rushing me to take her home. I didn't know what was happening, but I took her home anyway with an Uber. She was quiet the whole way. And when we got home, she downed more shots and raw whiskey. I knew something was very wrong because she only takes raw whiskey when she's seeing flames. She finally said and said, Bro, our dads are fucking. They are dating. They are fucking our friend and each other. They are secretly gay. I just saw them. Whoa, devotee. 
I laughed because I knew she had way too much to drink. She showed me a picture she took of my dad's car as it was driving away. That was his car, but I know he's not gay. But what on earth was he doing at the club we were in? It was a gay club. I tried to convince myself of the many reasons he was there, especially because there was no picture of him, just his car. Then my friend passed out. I called my mom to find out where dad was. Then she said he and my friend's dad went to a men's conference in Bloom. I chose to believe mom because that made more sense. Dad hates gay people. He hates seeing them at the mall holding hands, so he can never be one of them. There was no way. Plus, he's a born-again Christian who believes they are demons. The next morning, my friend woke up and said she dreamt telling me she saw our dads driving off with our friends. And I told her that she actually did tell me that and was very shocked by it. But I realized that it might not have happened. She imagined it because she was also not sure. A week later, Ndivuti, we were sitting at our friend's place. And I started asking him about this man of his and when he was seeing him again. He then said, while the foursome was amazing, the partner of the older guy didn't want to do it again, but they were going to continue seeing each other like they were. Much to his surprise, he gets a call from his blesser's boyfriend and he asks to meet him. My friend assumed he was going to ask him to end things with his partner, so he gave him his address and he came while we were there. My friend asked that we hide in the other room in case he was going to kill him. He came in. And our other two friends were looking through the door, talking about how good and fit this guy looked. Me and the lesbian friend didn't look for a while. And then after talking, they started kissing. Clearly, the guy enjoyed the group sex that he wanted to fill our boy on his own. I didn't want to watch even more. So we had to sit there and listen to them fucking like there's no tomorrow. We didn't even have earphones on. So we had the whole thing. They finished. The guy asked to shower before going, and it's then that I had a familiar voice. After his shower, he still wanted more and called our friend to do it in the shower with him, and they did. We should have left at that time, but we didn't. Everyone else was turned on by the whole thing. I must say, I kinda was too and wanted to join in, but we didn't. They came out of the shower as I was about to leave, and as I popped through the door, I dropped to the ground with shock. I couldn't scream, though I wanted to. I had just seen my friend's dad naked and walking around in my gay friend's apartment. He's the one I've been hearing having sex in the other room. No one knew what was going on. The guy left soon after, and then my friends took me home and we left them believing that I had been with that guy before. That's why I was shocked. I told my friend that she was right about what she said about seeing our dads with our friend because I've just seen her dad. He's the one who was having sex with our friend. She didn't believe. I didn't believe myself. But the thing is, I didn't even drink that day. So I knew I saw right. But how was all that possible? Maybe either of them being gay could be true, but not both of them sleeping together. So, to get to the truth, we knew we had to ask our friend more information about this older guy that seemingly can't get enough of him. He told us they had been dating for seven years, and they told him they stayed together, but chose not to get married. And they also had no kids. Well, that can't be them because they are very married to women, and they have kids. He said they don't want pictures, so he had no pictures of them. Even my dad, who he had been dating for two years, we asked that he tells us the next time he meets up with them. I told him I wanted closure because the guy just ghosted me and I want to see the main man that has been sponsoring his life. Ndivoti, our very unsuspecting friend really came through because he let us know they were all going to a certain hotel in Josie for the weekend. When we called our moms, they said our dads went away with work. They worked for the same company and have always gone for business trips before.
My friend was the one booking the hotel. I guess they didn't want their names on no hotel bill. So when he booked, he booked a two-bedroom penthouse. And at first we hid in the other room, but we got cold feet and hid outside the pool area because they wouldn't see us. The pool had a direct entrance to their penthouse. They arrived in the afternoon together. He sent us a message saying they are here. And when we looked through the space he opened in the balcony, we were never the same again. Both our dads who are supposed to be in a work trip are in a hotel in Jobek with our friend. We waited for them to get naked and took a ton of pictures and left through the main entrance of the pool because there was no way we were going to stick around to listen to our parents fucking a young boy and enjoying it. We started to look back at their relationship when they could have started dating. In the past seven years, there has been many times where they've gone away for work and men's church conferences. So they really have been doing each other all this time. They didn't want to accept that we are gay, but they are and they are married to our moms. It's been a month since finding out. We keep avoiding their calls, haven't gone home because we always make excuses that we have a lot of schoolwork. Our poor moms, how are we ever going to tell them about this? The pictures we have are more than enough evidence, but the pain they will suffer after finding out. We have been sneaking around because they would not accept us being gay because it's demonic. But what does that say about them? Are they demons? They are still seeing our friend. They sleep with him together and separate on top of that. They sleep with each other and our moms. These guys are sick to say the least. I am so disgusted by this. I throw up every time I think of them together. Ndibuti and Vasonti. What should we do? Should we tell our moms? And how do we break the news? We will never forgive them. That's for sure. They are cowards. They are bastards who don't deserve our moms. Yo, Vasonti. And that's it for now. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.